welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show everyone how I made this snow globe pop-up with spinner card, which is right here. Basically, this is what the card looks like folded. And everything folds down completely flat so that you can mail it. And what you do is you pull it open and it opens up into a sort of accordion. And it stands up. And what you do is you... If you were to wind all the little pieces here, of course, it's going to spin. And so that's what creates a spinner. And to spin the butterflies, you basically would do the same thing. You're basically going to wind everything up when you're getting ready to fold it. Put it all down. Then you would fold it so that you're getting ready to mail it. And then when the person would open up, it would open up and everything would spin. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly explain everyone how I made this. And this is the die that I use for this from Scrappy Tail Crafts. This is the Snow Globe Pop-Up with Spinner die. You get this piece here and you get this piece here that you can either, in my opinion, you can leave it just right here. You got this whole piece here or you can use this portion of the die to create the opening you don't need an opening and these dies right here actually if you were to cut the die you would make this portion here you would fold it up and this is what would give you your side panels here and this would give you the bottom panel here so that you would get a 3d look and basically all i did was to make the accordion portion i took the die I laid it down on my paper and I basically traced it three times. One, two, and three. And then I cut everything out. And then once I was done with this, what I did was I used the inner portion of the die, of course, and I measured it all out, you know, when I cut each thing. This is what the pop-up looks like, basically just laying down. And here you can see the three frames that I cut out that I showed earlier by tracing it. Then you take the middle die and then you punch out your middle sections. And this right here basically is once I punch that out, um, it's like the leftover piece that you have. And I just added um, a decorative angel die that also comes from Scrappy Tails. And to make the butterfly here, I used her butterfly set die here and this is this die right here it's this butterfly right here and i cut it out a total of four times so when i punched it out you know i punched it out and then i glued you know i folded it and you can kind of see it i folded it glued it together folded it glued them together in here folded it glued it together in there folded it and glued it together in here and it fits perfectly and then this gives you your 3D butterfly look. And I just added some, don't ask me why, weird little, it's like a, it's what you use when you make jewelry. And I just added this. I kind of wanted a funky little tail or something like that. And basically, and that's how you get your nice 3D sort of look. And like I said, this folds down perfectly flat for you to be able to mail. Totally flat, just like that. You can put it in an envelope. Easy peasy. Then the person opens it up and voila. And everything will spin when you do that. Because you want to twist everything up and then fold it. Put it in your envelope. And see how easy that is to fold. Simple boom. Put it in. Works great. And this is my butterfly spinner pop-up slimline. I probably sound really retarded. Let's see, baby.